good quality or not really? Not really. Well, what they do with the exit, they go right yeah. up the creek, yeah. right by mm -hmm. that fish right there. Right. Sit out there and drink beer and watch the fish. It's quality it's fish. Yeah. And if you're, There's two of them if you're willing to stand right here, they'll fly right around you. Oh, wow. It's too cool. So at sunset, never touch you. at sunset, right here. So I meant, do the fish talk about, is that better oxygen water quality that the fish are there? I would not recommend swimming in here. I'm not going to swim in here. The water quality is not very good. That's what I thought. Generally, when I said. Okay, let's just tell you about yeah. that for a second. No, it's not. The question has to do with water quality. Yeah. yeah. There's several issues. Yes, there is, at times, a dissolved oxygen deficit. And what typically happens is the, the creek stagnates, we get algae blooms, algae takes up a lot of that oxygen. The other thing we have is we do have high levels of E. coli. Um, a lot of that's related to dogs. But E. coli, as you know, is used as an indicator. Only a couple of the E. coli strains are uh, make you But we use them as an indicator. So we have elevated levels of E. coli. There's two, two things we like to do. One is we like to get people to stop having the dogs defecate in and around the creek. That's obvious. But the second thing is we would really like over time to investigate what would it be to drag water out of the lake, dump it back into the can let it flow. We have a creek that flows all year round. Like, like they're planning for Waller Creek? Yeah, something similar. There is a way to do that, because then I'll talk, tell you about Little and Short Creek. This is the twin of the 10th Street Bridge. I just think it's beautiful. It's also a major bat area. This is where uh, the, the Mexicans and bats come out. Most of them are female here. Another one of our historic figures. 